Good morning, everyone. This is Blades, also known as Ziggadam. Alright, I'm trying to do a video right now to showcase the Peter Bear 379. Um, I'm doing a quick update as of Friday, April the 19th, 2024. I'm just trying to, it's somewhat of a showcasing slash um, some news on what's going to happen with Blades mods. Okay, first of all, this is my PW379. Um, it's a 2005 model. It's a very high detail model. Um, as you can see, we are currently in the ARI sleeper. Um, personally, me, Ziggy Dan Blaze, I have a keen interest when it comes to detailing. And uh, over the years, there have been a lot of talk is blades credible is blades this is blades that first of all um i will never go ghost on my customers um i battle from real life depression and sometimes these comments don't make it any easier i'm somewhat of a scapegoat i'm just looking in the mother here every detail i try to knock right on even this right here speakers CD speakers, just things like that that gives a little bit more of an immersion. Question is Blaze credible? Of course, Blaze is credible. I'm not the type of mother that is going to be rushed and put out like crap. Yes, sometimes a little detail, such as a small conflict that has to do with the SCS 289 or SCS truck interferes with this specific truck which is which is the PW375 379 um, so yeah but that is all being resolved today and persons need to understand that uh, mothers has, have a life we have kids we have house we have wives we have things that we have to attend to S sometimes things will go over ahead Sometimes we don't feel tomorrow. Sometimes we don't feel to do nothing in terms of turning on the PC. Sometimes it takes us months to even decide that we are going to do another project. Sometimes we put out a mod and we're just tired, man. We just don't want to do anything. All right. This video is not going to be comparing to any other models. I'm just trying to compare my quality and how I believe in myself. And how others over the years have talked bad about me. First of all, this is an ARI sleeper. I'm not from the state. I've never been in a PW truck. I've never even touched one. Right? This is all what I've done is photos that I've sourced from the internet so that I can learn how to put a PW in game for my customers. First off, this is the first person. This in my opinion yes it is an high quality mod my mod is not like I AO bake my part so it casts a lot of shadows like you will get more details like the end map and as you can see you have a little like bumpy roughness which is in real life it's not smooth and unrealistic the wood that I use is also high quality it's 4k texturing everything you have to just look without being biased because I've seen a lot of unscrupulous people always saying things and comparing my mods to others which sometimes I find it amusing by trying to compare a low quality mod to my mod and yes in my opinion I'm one of the best in terms of quality the truth cannot be hide the truth cannot be hidden all right there's not a lot of big bong sleepers on the market but I've seen and I've observed all right when it comes to big bunk it's very limited and many is lack lacking quality I'm more of the quality over quantity I'm not just gonna put out a toy truck like say for instance I'm gonna make a big bunk like this now and you look it's not it doesn't have any quality it's just plain white that's not cool you have to put definition in the quality that you are offering to your customers so I even put the panel it's like a side paneling thing I'm not sure 
but I've sourced some t um, photos from the internet and Google has helped me a lot. The cabinet is high quality, the countertop is high quality, the disc trainer is high quality, the clock is high quality, the roofing, the I'm not even sure what this is. I'm just trying to make it as realistic as possible. The tiling on the floor, everything. And this mod is a multi functional mod which it has a lot of um, truck in one so we have options that the rockwood trim again I do not know I've never been in a Peterbilt I'm just sourcing things from the internet photos and stuff like that we have the carbon wood panel dash so sometimes I've read I've, I've, I don't like to reply back in comments where people are talking bad about this but like really where is the problem can you show me show me the problem all right let's go outside let's go up closer I've previously been trying to add some lights to it I have a bunch of lights on this truck lights lots and I don't think I want to do it all in this video all right so this is going to be somewhat of a showcasing all right me personally I try to do updates gradually like adding new parts every update I don't like to swarm the truck with a bunch of unnecessary accessories that look so unrealistic and uh, let's go in even to the fe front fender um, leather thing here I'm not sure what it is I think it's fender guard I try to put detail in everything that I do it looks real life like you can touch it and sometimes people make some negative comments it really upset me because most of the time it is false propaganda my chrome work i've tried my best to bake my chrome as realistic as possible you won't get any overly shined chrome or dull stupid chrome i try to AO bake them as best as possible and with all of my mods you will get high quality chrome and texturing and mind you I'm still learning how to mod I've seen many models come and go vanished in 10 years I will never do that I just try to